What are you watching, big brother? It is romance manga. I know that one. I want to watch it with you, too. I'm Ren Shibata, a high school junior. I have a sweet and adorable little sister. Her name is Yumi. She's a first year in high school. But she's not my real sister. She's my stepsister. Do I see her as just a sister while living together? Of course not. It's impossible not to think about her differently sometimes. Oh, these two are step-siblings, huh? Yeah, seems like it. Do you ever want to kiss me? This is just a manga video, you know? Even though we're not blood-related, we're still technically siblings. Still, she does make my heart skip a beat sometimes. Alright, I'm gonna make dinner now. Oh, thanks! been getting way too cute lately. She's cute both in looks and personality, but since she's a bit of a brother complex, I worry about her as her big brother. She came to live with us when she was around elementary school age. Her parents died in an accident, so she ended up staying with us, her relatives. From today on, we're siblings. Yeah... Don't look so sad. No matter what happens, I'll always protect you. At that moment, I decided to be the best big brother I could be for her. I wanted her to look up to me, to rely on me. I wasn't good at school or sports, but I worked hard at both. Thanks to all my hard work, now that I'm in high school, I'm one of the top students in both academics and sports. Hmm... At this point, it feels more like I'm the one with a sister complex rather than her being a brother complex. Well, no need to worry about the details. The important thing is that now she looks up to me and relies on me. Our sibling relationship is great as usual. Hey, can I sleep with you again tonight, big brother? Sure. I mean, things maybe are a little too good. But it's not like we're doing anything wrong. But now that we're both in high school, honestly, her brother complex is getting a bit much. If this keeps up, I'm worried she won't be able to handle other guys in the future. I can't seem to shake off my own sister complex. It feels like something's got to change, for both our sakes. Big brother. You're still awake? Yeah, I don't know why, but my heart's racing tonight. Is that so? Hey, big brother. I really love you, big brother. Yeah, I know. But what about you? I like you too, as a sister. That's not what I meant, though. Huh? What did you say? Nothing. A night for real this time. Honestly, I heard her loud and clear. But no way she actually means it, right? The next day after school. I'm home. Welcome back, big brother. Hello. Hey, Kokomi. What's up? Her name's Kakomi Takano, my sister's best friend. They're in the same class and she sometimes comes over to hang out. Did you come to hang out again today? No, actually, we have some home economics class coming up, so I was hoping Yume could teach me some cooking. Oh, I see. She's super serious and a bit on the shy side, so I worry about her a little. But she and my sister get along really well. And watching them together makes me smile. Alright, I'll be upstairs. See you later, big brother. According to my sister, Yukomi isn't very comfortable around guys. But she always talks to me just fine. 
probably because my sister sees me as a proper big brother. The Kokomi doesn't feel the need to be on guard around me. Hmm? Kokomi? What are you doing right now? I was studying. Sorry for bothering you. Nah, don't worry about it. Yuma and I made some cookies. Would you like to try them? Oh, you did? Thanks! Didn't think I'd get to eat handmade cookies from my sister's friend. Guess that's one of the perks of being the big brother. Yeah, it's really delicious. Really? I could easily eat a whole bucket of these. Thank you. All right, I'll go make some more. Wait, what? One hour later. I made some more. Here you go. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> She actually made a bucket full of cookies. She's such an honest and serious girl. I'll save these for later. A few days later, the weather forecast was wrong and it started raining in the afternoon. Luckily, I left an extra umbrella at school, just in case something like this happened. <sighs> oh, hey Kokomi. I saw her taking shelter from the rain. Oh, hello. Hi. Do you not have an umbrella? Yeah, I got completely soaked. I'll catch a cold like that. Here, use my towel if you want. I haven't used it yet. Thank you so much. Don't worry. Even though I said that, the raid didn't seem like it was going to stop anytime soon. I just leave her here and go home. Leaving Kokomi behind? You lost my respect. No. Yumi wouldn't say that. But I feel guilty about leaving my sister's best friend behind in the rain. But if I ask her, want to share my umbrella? She might think... That's supposed to be my spot. She'd probably say something like that. Hmm, looks like there's only one thing I can do. Take to this umbrella. Huh? But if you do that, then you'll... I'll be fine, don't worry. But... It's okay, really. See you later. Wait! I forced the umbrella into her hands and walked away. It wasn't the smoothest move, but now she'll be fine, and I'm sure my sister will be happy too. And of course, this is what happened. A 38 degree fever. You've got a cold. Ugh, I let my guard down. The next day, I ended up with a fever. Good thing it was the weekend. If it had been a school day, I would have had to skip. Still, giving Kokomi your umbrella and walking away like that was pretty cool. <laughs> right? You could have just walked her home together. Weren't you going to say something like, that's my spa? I'm not really that possessive about it. But if I didn't know the situation and saw you two walking home together, I might have gotten a little jealous. Huh? What'd you say? Nothing. I'll bring you some rice porridge later, so just rest for now. She said that quickly, trying to push it off, and left the room. I slept until the afternoon, and during that time, Kokomi came over to visit. Oh, hey, Kokomi. What's up? Since your brother caught a cold because of me, I came to check on him. Thanks, but don't worry. He actually seems kind of happy about it. I'll take the porridge to him. You stay here. In that case, I'll go with you. No, it'd be bad if you caught his cold too. Yeah, you're right. 
Big Brother, are you awake? <laughs> Looks like he's still sleeping. The porridge is getting cold, but I'd rather let him sleep a bit longer. I wonder if my brother actually likes Kokomi, or does he really only see me as his sister? With me right here. At this point, maybe I should just kiss him. And he'll see that I'm better than her. I'll make him understand. Hmm, you may. He's waking up. What should I do? Well, if it comes to this. Huh? I thought I just saw Yume. My fever messing up my head? Phew, that was close. I could have sworn our Yume was nearby, but it seems it was just my imagination. Still, I had an insane dream. Big Brother, do you think I'm pretty? You're super pretty. I see Yume in a wedding dress, smiling brightly. Oh, right. Today's the day she's leaving me. Hey, how long are you going to keep calling me Big Brother? Sorry, sorry. It's just a habit. Let's go, Ren. My surprise. I was her groom. Instead of leaving her, I was about to vow eternal love of her. Then Kokomi showed up in a wedding dress, too. You must Big Brother. How do you like my wedding dress? It's beautiful. Well, how long are you going to keep calling me Big Brother? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Alright, let's go. Okay. okay. So the three of us started walking down the aisle together. Is this really how weddings go? I wondered as everyone around us warmly celebrated our marriage. And just then, I woke up. What kind of dream was that? A dream where I married my sister and her best friend at the same time? There's no way I can tell them. As a brother, no as a guy. What does that even mean? Hey, are you okay? Kokomi? Why is she here? It's extra awkward to see her after that weird dream I just had. Sorry, I came to check on you. Oh, thanks. I was looking for Yuma and she hasn't come back at all. She's not here, but... Oh, there's some rice porridge left. She must have gone to her room or to the bathroom after leaving this. Oh, I see. Is your fever okay now? Yeah, I slept really well. And it seemed like the fever's gone. I feel fine. Maybe it's thanks to Yumi taking care of me. This might be the perfect time. Huh? Perfect time for what? Actually, I've been wanting to tell you something for a long time. Something you have to say? Then for some reason, she climbed onto the bed. Kokomi, what are you doing? I'm the type who acts before thinking about my feelings. What do you mean? I thought it'd be quicker to show with actions instead of words. It's a bit embarrassing, but I've been practicing for this day. Wait, what? What do you mean by this day? Practicing for what? You don't need to change anything about yourself. No way! Yume? Where did you come from? From under the bed. I figured something like this would happen, so I hid. Come on, no way. What are you doing with my brother? Oh, well... Huh? Were you trying to do something with him? Wait a second. You gotta fill me in too. I'm part of this. Seeing my sister turn bright red, I have a pretty good idea of what's going on. But I deserve to know too. You can't do that! Why not? Because he's 
my big brother! But you two are just siblings, and it wouldn't be a problem if I got together with your big brother, right? It would be a problem! Listening to their conversation, I realized that Kokumi clearly didn't know that Yume and I weren't actually siblings. You may have been keeping that a secret, but it seemed like I had to tell her the truth to clear things up. Hey, Kokumi? We're not just siblings. Wait, what do you mean? My brother and I... Should Yume tell her? That might be best. We have a special relationship! Yeah, it's a complicated relationship! What? You may stop! She totally messed that up! You may try to keep our secret, but ended up making a huge mistake. After that, I explained the situation to Kokomi. So you guys aren't real siblings? Yeah, but to me, she's as important as a real sister. I kept it a secret to avoid any weird misunderstandings around us. I see, that's why... What's wrong? When I asked Yume if I could date you, she totally shot me down! Shot you down how? She said that you're a siscon and that you're only interested in your sister! Dude! Well, it's true! It's true! But you have no right to say that to me! I think as your sister, I totally have a right to say that! Plus, aren't you a brocon yourself? I'm not a brocon, I just really like you! Then what would you call if not a brocon? I like you normally as a guy, okay? Well, thanks for that. Wow, I just confessed to my brother. Uh, yeah. Can you keep it down for a sec? My brain is about to explode right now. So both she and Kokomi like me. This is getting confusing. A crazy truth just came out. I've been treating Yumi like a precious sister. But it seems she's fallen for me is more than that. Meanwhile, Kokomi has liked me for a while and even talked to Yume about it. Now, she couldn't hold back and decided to act on it. So here's the deal. Kokomi, you should give up on him. You should be the one to give up. To him, you're just his little sister. Hmm? This is how it ended up. I'm happy about both of your feelings, but I really don't want you two to fight. You're best friends. You should get along. But now we're both rivals. Right. I don't want to lose to Yume. Winning and losing doesn't really matter, though. Hey, big brother, which one of us do you like more? Huh? Yeah, you need to pick who you want to date. What? Is this some kind of death game? I got caught up in a crazy game. My adorable little sister Yume handles all the housework like a pro. And then there's Kokomi, my hardworking, charming junior. They're both cute and super appealing. You could choose between them. I'm glad they both like me, but I'm not looking to date either of them. Wait, what? I just want you two to stay friends, so make up, okay? Got it. And just like that, they managed to keep their friendship intact. I'm pretty great. How did it come to this? Guys? What's up, big bro? What's going on? Seriously? Why are both of you holding onto my arm? Because this is a competition. I talked it over with Kogami. A competition? But I'm not into winning or losing. This is just a contest between us and you. Huh? What do you mean? You don't really care about us, right? 
Well, if you ask me if I'm interested, I guess I am. So we decided to team up and win your heart. You guys really made that decision, huh? Get ready, big brother. I'm going to make you say you like me more for sure. It's unfair to have two cute girls going after me. Ah, feels like I'm starting to see that virgin road from my dream the other day. Maybe the laws in Japan will change before we become adults. <laughs>